Well, hello, everybody. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about how to create a timer in Minecraft. Um, I've seen a lot of different videos out there and a little confusing. So I want to go step by step on how to create a timer, a countdown timer is going to go from a certain number of seconds to zero. And, and then something's going to happen when it gets to zero. So we're going to go ahead and get started. This is going to be a series on how to create an escape room for you. So we're going to start with the timer and we're going to actually move on up. So let me go ahead and open up the screen right here. All right, here we go. So the first thing that we're going to do is I need to put down uh, some regular blocks so that way I can use command blocks to make my timer. So I'm going to go ahead and put a block down here and I'm going to put a block here. I'm going to put just a few blocks here. here. Okay, so now on this bottom one right here, I'm going to want to, I'm going to want to put a block here. And in order to do that, I'm going to need to put a command block there. I have to give myself a command block first. So I have to use give at myself um, command block. Okay. Give me a command block. So now I can place that command block right here. And the reason I had to put these other blocks here is because I'm going to be stacking them on top of each other and it won't allow you to stack command blocks on top of each other unless you have like a block in behind it that you, you kind of trick it to, to do that. Now this first block here is not going to be just a regular command block. It's actually going to be a repeat block and we're, because we're going to want the system to kind of repeat and repeat and repeat. So we're going to go ahead and make this a repeat block. And to do that, all we do is we take, take it from impulse to repeat, and we're going to make it unconditional, and we're going to make it so it needs redstone, okay? That's really important, all right? Okay, so now what we're going to do is I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a command in here, but before I put a command in here, I need to put a couple of commands into the system. Now, what that means is I need to create a, I need to create what's called a scoreboard so that way Minecraft will be able to count for me. It can't count, it can't do this part, it can't count using the command blocks unless I already have this other part in place. So we're going to add two commands just right here. I'm going to hit the slash and I'm going to hit a command right now, okay? And the command I'm going to use is scoreboard. Okay, scoreboard. Now scoreboard is, I'm going to tell it, I, I want you to create a scoreboard. Now in order to create a scoreboard, I have to have something called an objective that it kind of looks at. So I'm going to put scoreboard objectives, okay, and I'm going to say add, because we're going to add an objective to the scoreboard and the, the and the objective could be it could be anything that you want to name it. it could be timer clock whatever it is that you want to name it I'm naming mine countdown because that's what I want it to do I want it to count down and it doesn't matter it's going to take whatever name that you want you can even name it yourself if you wanted to but I'm going to go ahead and say minus countdown and notice I put a capital D there or capital C so scoreboard objectives add countdown Okay, now I have to I have to give it what it means, and you'll see right here it says dummy because what it's going to do is it's making like a dummy account in a way. It's kind of strange, but so we have to put the word dummy. Now this is the objective that Minecraft is going to read. It's it's going to look for this word always countdown, but we want to put something on the screen so that way people know what the countdown is. So your second word over here should be something like seconds or time left or something like that. I'm going to put time left, time underscore left. Okay. This right here is what's going to show. This is what's going to show to my uh, players. This right here is what the computer reads, what Minecraft reads, okay? So this is the name of my timer, and this is the display name of my timer, okay? They, they kind of go together, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and press return, and it says that I have successfully added the objective of countdown. Now I need to add another objective because I have the, now I have the countdown ready to go, but I have to show it somewhere on my screen. So people will be, will be able to see it and they'll see that there's, that needs to be time left. So I do that by hitting the slash again, and I'm going to hit scoreboard again. 
And I'm going to hit objectives again. Okay, scoreboard objectives. And this time, we're going to say set display. We're not adding. We're going to say set display. All right, and we're going to set the display. That means we're going to display this timer somewhere on the screen. And I'm going to set it over to the sidebar. Okay, and I have to tell it what objective I am putting out there. So I have scoreboard objectives, display, sidebar, and of course I'm going to be putting countdown because I'm telling it that on the sidebar I want you to show me the countdown. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit return. And now if you notice over on to the Right hand side there, you see it says time left. There is my counter. Now I don't have any seconds or anything associated with it yet. Now I just have those objectives that are put in. But now that I have those, now I can set up the timer, okay? So I'm gonna go down to this repeater block here. And I'm gonna actually put a command in here. Now this is a repeater block, which means it's gonna run over and over and over again. So what I'm going to want this first block to do is I'm going to want this block to take away a second from the countdown every time. I want it to take one click down, okay? So in order to do that, I have to put in scoreboard, okay, players, okay, remove, at a at all players because I'm only gonna have a one player in here in this escape room at a time, but I want to that way I don't have I'm not naming a specific player. I'm naming any player that comes into this game. Okay. Um at player, and then we're gonna say the the name of the timer, which is countdown, and we're gonna go down by one. Now I can't just leave it like this because if I if it goes down by one, one tick is a 20th of a second. So think about that. If I set my timer for 30 seconds and I, I say, okay, go down by one, it's gonna go down a 20th of a second every time. And it's gonna, it's not gonna work right. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the delay ticks at 20 seconds or at 20 ticks. So that way every 20 ticks, it's going to go down by one, which means it's going to go down one second at a time. So now my, my math is correct. All right. So now we're ready to go. So this repeat block is now set. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of there. And I'm going to go, you see how I'm moving up just a little bit? I'm going to add another command block. And we're going to make this one, not an impulse block, we're going to make this one a chain block. Okay. And this chain block is going to be unconditional because now what we're going to do is this chain block is going to test to see if the players, if the seconds are at zero, okay? Because, because if it's taking a second away and, once it, and it wants to know when it gets to zero. So we're going to make this block test for that. And since it's repeating, it's part of the repeating, since it's a chain block, it's going to continue to do that until it hits zero. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put in here scoreboard. And this is about the players. Players. We're going to put test because we're going to test it at all the players, any player that comes into the game. Okay. We're going to have it and we're going to test the countdown. And we're going to test the countdown is zero to zero that that way that the uh, the countdown is from zero to zero so that that's the parameter it has to be at zero okay that's so why we put the zero two times from zero to zero all right so it's going to test for that it's going to continue to go through there and it's going to test for that all right so we're going to put that one in there all right and now then it, and you see now we have the countdown at zero i'm going to add another block okay go up here a little bit oops and we're gonna make this one another chain block, okay? And this chain block is gonna be conditional. So this command is not gonna happen unless we're at the zero, zero, okay? It's gotta be at zero for this, this next command to take place, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put, we're gonna put uh, title, 
We're going to have this set at all of the players. Okay, and we put title again because now we're telling it and we're going to make a title and we're going to make it title in the middle of the screen. So that's what that means. We're going to make a title, then we're going to put title it in the middle of the screen. And I'm going to say time is up. Okay, so this is going to happen once it gets once it hits zero. All right. And we don't need redstone. It's going to be always active. And I need to make that other chain always active too. So this is conditional. Okay. All right. Let me just make sure that I make this one always active as well. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and do one more. Okay. One more block here. And we're also going to make this one a chain block as well. Okay. So this one is going to be conditional as well. It has to meet that zero, zero for this part to happen. And what I want to do is I want to play a sound when we hit zero. So I'm going to go ahead and put in here, play sound. And I'm going to play the portal dot travel. Okay. I want to play it at all the players that are, that are, within here. So again, this is conditional. It has to be the zero, zero for, for first to, for it to say time's up. And it also has to be zero, zero for this to play the sound. It's not going to do this unless it's at zero, zero. That's what that test was for. Okay. And we're going to add one more block here. And I'm going to add one more block here. This is going to be the final block. And again, this is going to be a chain block. And it's going to be conditional yet again. Okay. So always active. And this one, this because the time is up, game is over. So I'm going to put kill at all players. And that's it. That's it. So now what's going to happen is when it gets down to zero, it's going to hit zero. And then it's going to say time's up and it's going to kill the player. Okay. All right. So that's how we set up the timer. In the next piece, we're going to learn how to set up how to set up the player so that that way they have the 30 seconds or 45 seconds or whatever amount of time is that you want them to have within the uh, within the escape room or with with a question or whatever it is that you want them to do with with the timer here in Minecraft. And again, you can make this timer any amount of seconds that you want, um, but I'm going to be setting mine to probably about 30 seconds when we come back. OK, we'll see you in a few.